It's rolling. Is okay. this going to be on TV? <laughs> Five before nine o'clock. The morning news with Webster and Nancy on WLK. Now, the two-time winner of the Pennsylvania Association of Broadcasters Award and the two-time winner of the Pennsylvania Associated Press Broadcasters Association Award. Promoting and advancing the crafted microbrew culture in Northeast Pennsylvania. Yes, it's another edition <laughs> of the, the Friday. Friday. The Friday Beer Buzz, powered by Sabatini's in Exeter, one of the area's greatest selections of rare craft and imported beers. Growlers and Crowlers, a hand pump. Oh, my. Oh my. And 35 <laughs> rotating drafts at Sabatini's Pizza and Sabatini's Bar and Bottle Shop, Wyoming Avenue, Exeter. Lindo Sabatini. Good morning. Uh, you are ready for the wind chill uh, this weekend, Lindo? It's awesome. Yeah, it's going to be great, yeah, isn't great. it? Great. Yeah. The nice thing about this is you don't need indoor refrigeration for your beer. No. You just don't have to. <laughs> just don't leave it out there for too long. Yeah. Here's Bill from MyBeerBuzz.com. Hi, Bill. The yeah. quick chill. You know the quick chill trick? The quick chill trick. You wrap it in wet or something? Yeah, you wrap it in a wet paper towel and put it in the freezer. Yeah, and how quick does that work? It's it's ra it's rapid. I want to say like two minutes, two and a half minutes. Is there like a have tip? A There's beer. science behind that, isn't there? There is, yeah. I don't know what it is, but there is science behind that. It's two-fifths of the centigrade times four over Fahrenheit. Y equals MX plus B. <laughs> A squared plus, plus B, B squared. Yeah. A, bu a bucket of ice with some salt in it. Yeah, that's that's true. That does work really that's well. That's how you too. make yeah. ice cream. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Same, same concept. Right, look what we've covered so far. The show's only two minutes old. I know. <laughs> Unbelievable. Learned something new. This is a lot of stuff. We should inject that, that most beers, you don't want them really, really cold. Right. <laughs> that's true. And if you leave them in the freezer for more than an hour or so, uh, yeah. you'll, you'll be cleaning up broken glass. <laughs> yeah, you, and you'll have a slushy. Uh, be a problem. We have a Sabatini's event. It's next Wednesday, okay. the 17th, yeah. and it is called Battle of the Beasts. And I can't, I can't even believe that this is the fourth iteration of Battle of the Beasts. Really? Our, our fourth annual Battle of the Beasts. And it's it's called Battle of the Beast because they are really low alcohol beers. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm guessing I'm guessing that's an accurate description. They're really low. Yeah, like around <laughs> ten or low. Maybe. Yeah, the, the low double digits. Yeah. yeah, low double digits. That's where we start. Well. Not necessarily all low double digits. No, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's a it's a great event. Uh, in the last few years, it, it ends up being one of our more uh, attended events mm -hmm. uh, throughout the year. Um, this one, we got a lot of really nice beer. Uh, really excited. We have uh, two brew, uh, two from Bell's Brewing. Mm -hmm. uh, one, uh, everybody's waiting for Hop Slam. Yeah. So we're oh, gonna yeah. have Hop Slam on draft in both buildings. Ooh. Um, Bear Hug from Bell's is a. Uh, Beer I never heard of, but it's it's their uh, Russian Imperial Stout that they uh, released to us. That is the session beer for the evening at 8.4. <laughs> That's the lowest alcohol beer there. We have a wow, an Imperial Sour uh, from Almanac, uh, aged in Woodford Reserve barrels. It's a sour stout, 9% alcohol. Wow. Um, Brooklyn Monster Ale. It's a, it's their. Um, Barley wine. English barley wine. Yeah. yeah. But this really one, good. we've had aging in our cellar since 2012. Ooh, wow. So this one, uh, you know, it's going to be a little different because it's had a lot of time to mellow out. Um, Ballast Point out in California, the billion-dollar brewery. Yes, yeah. This, uh, we have two variations of their Victory at Sea. Uh, in the main event, the pizza shop, we're going to have their coconut Victory at Sea. And mm. then at, at 930 at the bar, we're going to be doing their peanut butter Victory at Sea. Whoa, nice. Yeah. Um, <laughs> A little variation on the and theme there's a, there. There's a firkin in there too. There's a firkin and a really a firkin good. from Sierra Nevada. Um, we're getting their their Bigfoot barley wine and a firkin, and two beer, three beers at 9:30. Also at the bar, we're doing uh, 2011 J.W. Lee's uh, Harvest Ale, mm -hmm. Demolin from um, the Netherlands. Their Heaven and Hell, which is another Imperial Stout. Those are both wows. Big, yeah, big hard beers. To get. Yeah, really nice beers. And a beer that's normally impossible to get. We have perennial Abraxas. Oof. Which is, a lot of people are uh, come just for that. Jeez. And these are all on draft. Wow. It, it's all on draft. I it starts. I, heard, I thought I heard the heavenly host there for a second. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. uh, it starts early at the pizza shop. Get there early if you want a table. The firkin taps at seven o'clock, and then the four, three or four over at the pizza shop or at the, at the uh, bar, bar and bottle and shop. It's coming up this Wednesday, the seventeenth. Correct. And of course, uh, Sabatini's uh, bar and bottle shop and Sabatini's Pizza right yes. there on Wyoming Avenue in Exeter. Battle of Beasts Four. Beautiful. Mm. And if you want to say hi tonight, we're going to be at Sab's uh, oh, bar. And 
bottle right. shop tonight. And where do you see the crowd we pull in tonight? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when you come in, uh, it sounds interesting. <laughs> when you come in, just look for Lent. Bill. <laughs> it has nothing to do with Lent. It's all Bill. Oh, <laughs> I feel like you should say, "Oh my!" After oh my! That. <laughs> if you come in, use the secret code. Say, "I have the yo-yo." Bill will reply, "I have the string," and then yeah. you'll be in. That's it. The lazy fox flies low that's over it. the that's right. harvest moon. Yes. <laughs> um, we have one little bit of breaking beer news. We broke it out yesterday and the day before. Southern Tier IPA and yeah. Southern Tier Tangier, it's another sort of uh, tangerine IPA, are both coming to 12-ounce cans. Oh, nice. So cans from Southern Tier. Excellent. Isn't that cool? I like That's Southern great. Tier. We're seeing more and more of that, and yeah. I, I like that stuff coming from Southern Tier. And Southern Tier uh, has some really good stuff. I expect we'll see 2X and some other ones in cans as well. That's outstanding. Great. So we have a beer today. Our beer is one of the beers featured at the event, <laughs> <laughs> and it comes to us from New Holland uh-huh. Brewing Company yes. from Holland, Michigan, and it is called Dragon's Milk Reserve Vanilla Chai. Wow. That is... Victory <laughs> and, of course, there's our musical accompaniment to go along with it, which, if I'm not mistaken. Is that how you call a dragon? Or? If I'm not mistaken, that's SpongeBob hollering in Finnish. <laughs> I, I could be so wrong. So this is very um, interesting. It is. This is Chai? Yeah. Uh, so chai is, uh, first off, we should say, what is chai? Hmm. Chai, chai like is... like a tea, isn't it? Yeah, it's a yeah. mix of sort of black tea and milk and spices. And I, I had to write down the spices because I'm not a tea drinker. Mm-hmm. So the, the spices are cinnamon cardamom, uh, cloves, and black and white peppercorns. That's what makes up chai, Mm -hmm. along with the black tea and and milk. And then to that, they add vanilla flavoring to it, vanilla beans. Yeah. on the base of an imperial stout. An imperial stout's a really strong, rich imperial stout. And then that is all just, that's not all fun enough. That's all aged in bourbon barrels. You know, I'm halfway Yummy. through one a cup of this here. <laughs> yeah. And I feel like I want to get a battle axe and storm into a castle of yeah, some sort. I feel potent. like I want to chop down a, a, a drawbridge or something. It's it's a really nice beer. They first started making this in... <laughs> <laughs> what? You feel that from you a beer? You chop down I, a and drawbridge. I'm only, <laughs> and I'm only halfway through this. <laughs> and there's, there's a therapist on a couch somewhere going, Ooh. <laughs> That's all right. That's, I bad. Had a, That's bad. I had a hallucination <laughs> yesterday, but we'll, we won't dwell on that. <laughs> this beer started in 2001, and it was one of the very first bourbon barrel-aged or barrel-aged uh, imperial stouts. Mm-hmm. They were rare back then. You know, This, is, this is delicious. This is on... Un- you know what? Like I really like it. You just it. go right ahead. <laughs> Keep going. I'll be over. Okay. Yeah, I'll just talk. You drink. All righty. Um, and, and this was one of the, the the rare beers. Not a lot of people were doing bourbon barrel or barrel-aged beers back then. Mm. And, and so this was very rare in 2001. It has now come to be their year-round beer. They, they sell this, not the vanilla chai version, but their, their dragon's milk. Mm-hmm. It goes year-round. Yeah. It is also their best-selling beer. Really? Which in this day and age, to, to have an imperial stout be your best-selling beer is rare. Yeah. And, and to think about that. The amount of barrels they need to be able to keep a bourbon barrel beer around it's all year is incredible. Be, they have one of the biggest Cooperage uh, yeah. collections in, in the whatever in the world. Really? You know the number is thirty five hundred barrels. Get out of here! Yeah. <laughs> wow. They they last year when they released this they released four variants of it all at the same time and they rapidly sold out because they couldn't make very much of it. Uh-huh. Now they're releasing it one release per quarter. And so they can make a lot more of it. So yeah. there will be a lot more of it. This is in twelve ounce bottles. I think last year it was in twenty twos. Well, they they did the four they did the four in, uh, in twelve ounce all at once, and yeah. we had them for I don't know a whole day. Yeah, <laughs> wow. thirty five hundred barrels. Thirty five hundred barrels. And they have like one guy named uh, Ed who takes them off the truck. Well, they so they, they all they all do have coopers. Uh, you know, a lot of these these. These breweries that are doing a lot of barrel aged beers have coopers. They have people that make, they don't brew the barrels. beer; they just take care of right, the beer that. in the wood. Yeah, wow. Um, so, so this is really rare. The next release in this quarter is going to be coffee and chocolate, and that's a rerun from 2015 as that well. That sounds really good. It, it, it's a really nice beer. If you're wondering, this is 11 yeah, percent ABV uh, and and 31 IBU. It's not you know it's not it's not sweet. Eleven percent. You know, it's obvious this is not uh, a, what you'd term a session. Uh, no, 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 no. Beverage. This one will get your attention. But it is. Good. It really it is, is unbelievable, tasty. isn't it? Very drinkable. Oh. It's very, very much. There's, so there's there's vanilla flavors in there. There's a little bit of chocolatey flavor. There's, I feel like we need a recliner in here. <laughs> <laughs> so you went, you went from battle axe and drawbridge to recliner. Well, yeah. after you, after you stormed the castle, <laughs> window, yeah, you got to take a little breather. Well, it's kind of a di- isn't it? It's a dichotomy almost. Call it vanilla chai. Some people would think it's kind of. Foo-foo, you know, you yeah. hear the name, yeah. but then when you drink it, it's yeah. like 
powerful. It is beastly, isn't yeah. it? I mean, it is, yeah. I love Nancy, it. did you ever feel like you wanted to chop down a drawbridge? <laughs> I'm starting to feel that See? way now. We That's talked right. about the Vikings today. Now <laughs> we're having the Dragon's Milk Reserve. Yeah. I mean, you got the Battle of the Beasts. Yeah. Well, it's all when going I, on. Uh, at, when we're out of here at 9 o'clock, I'm going out in the parking lot and flip a car. How do you like that? <laughs> That's right. I'm going to go pillage the village That's down at Super 8. Crazy. <laughs> yeah. Down so, at Super 8. Wow. <laughs> okay. This is what they call, if you're if in, in the beer world, in beer terminology, this is what they call well-layered. So you've got vanilla, you've got chocolate, you've got a little bit of the chai, mm -hmm. you've got a little bit of the bourbon, and they all come on at different times. So they don't all hit you at the same time. You can taste them each sort of in a, in a sequence. Right. So it's a really nicely layered beer, and I don't think that's an accident. I think they planned it to do that, um, and, and I think that's why this is so popular. They're my heroes. Would you like to hear some of the other versions of this <laughs> beer? Okay. Yes. So there is, dra and I'll, I won't say Dragon's Milk with each one, but right. these are all Dragon's Milk reserve beers that they've done. Okay. Some will make bottles, some will not. So right. Dragon's Milk, uh, Coconut Rum Barrel, oh, Dragon's Milk, good. Mexican Spice Cake, <laughs> Peanut Butter, Mint Chocolate. Yeah, you're making this up. Maple Coffee. No, they get worse. Wow. Uh, brandy Barrel Apple Pie. <laughs> bacon. Wow. <laughs> yeah. well, the, really? Bacon, yeah. Chocolate and Orange. Sarsaparilla. Black cherry, oh. hazelnut, Jeez. the vanilla chai we have today, mm -hmm. uh, reserve triple mash, and the triple mash means that they, they it sort of has three times the grain, which that one's going to be even bigger than 11%. Oh, yeah. That was my uh, favorite one last year. Triple, triple mash, mash yeah. 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 So good. Monstrous. Uh, uh, with raspberries, uh, Dragon's Milk Reserve with raspberries, and the last one, Dragon's Milk Reserve with toasted chilies. That's it? Yeah. Oh, they really got to work on getting some more options. Got to get some variety out there. I like so, that coconut one. What was that the first one you said? Coconut, coconut rum. Coconut rum. That's oh, yeah, yeah. I'd coconut try rum. that one, baby. Wow. Yeah. That's good. That sounds like something you could drink and also put on and play in the sun. <laughs> Dab a little yeah. on your, yeah, for Valentine's Day. <laughs> we, we should give guys Valentine's Day advice. Please do not get your wife a beer you love as a Valentine's Day oh, present, right? Yeah, I don't loves. know. That's probably not a good if idea. If your wife really loves beer, I mean, beer is a, a totally appropriate But if, you're, gift. if your guy loves beer, right. that's a great Valentine's Day. Oh. Like gift, a dream come right? true. So if they go down and they, they ask for Lindo or Nick and, and, and say, my husband loves beer. Right, we, and we likes will, this kind. You'll we will hook you up. Or for your wife, uh, a lot of people are buying uh, chocolate. We have chocolate beers and cherry beers, and you can blend them and make chocolate-covered cherries. Oh, we have nice. a lot of people doing that kind of stuff. Wow. Battle so, of the Beasts? Um, but nah, well, I'm saying that for uh, no, no, no. But I know Battle of the Beast is coming up on this yeah, Wednesday, Wednesday. Yep. this coming Wednesday. Yep. That's perfect, right before the Vikings premiere on Thursday. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> and, and we've had <laughs> that New wasn't Holland. timed. We didn't have <laughs> <laughs> Good thing you didn't do it Thursday. Yeah. <laughs> we've had New Holland on before. Yeah. We had F Fred Bultman on, who is their director of of, of ministry of. Uh, of you know, cool beerness. <laughs> right. <laughs> and and they were founded by Brett Vandekamp and Jason Spaulding. We had Jason Spaulding on in his new brewery. He's at Brewery Vivant. And he's he's the inventor of the volleyball. If I'm not <laughs> yeah. Isn't he? If I'm not mistaken, <laughs> I could be wrong. <laughs> Have another one. John. All righty. Yeah. I think I will. We're enjoying in uh, New Hall and <laughs> Dragon's Milk Reserve Vanilla Chai. The big battle of, of the uh, beast coming up on uh, Wednesday at uh, Sabatini's. Both locations. Yeah. Pizza, at the pizza place next door at the bottle shop and bar. Part four. You we can get there as early as 3 or 4 o'clock in the afternoon, and you'll be well set. You can yes. get there tonight and wait. You can get there. Yeah. You'll see the crew that he's bringing. If you get there tonight, ask Linda where he hides the key, and you can let yourself in on Wednesday morning. The WILK Friday Beer Buzz, powered by Sabatini's, one of the area's greatest selections of rare craft and imported beers. Growlers and Crowlers, a hand pump, and 35 rotating drafts at Sabatini's Pizza and Sabatini's Bar and Bottle Shop, Wyoming Avenue in Exeter. This is the Friday Beer Buzz, bringing good beers and good people together. Tasty. Hey. That's very tasty. What do you think of his title? <laughs>